A multimeter, commonly known as a tester, is one of the must-haves for any radio amateurs. The market offers a truly amazing selection of multimeters, starting from simplest pocket devices and to professional desktop apparatuses. There is also a dilemma of choosing between a digital device and a pointer one. Beginners would usually need a universal digital multimeter within the price range of 20 to 50 US dollars. A high price means that the device would support other more advanced functions like PC communication, memory, etc., which are not exactly a must if you are just starting. To select a best fitted device, one needs to consider the number of functions and measurement ranges. The key functions and design ranges would be as follows DC voltage measurement, 2 mV, 600 volts, direct current measurement, 2 mA to 10 amperes, AC voltage measurement, 1 to 700 volts, alternating current measurement, 20 mA to 10 amperes, resistance measurement, 100 ohms to 10 mega ohms plus the Y identification function. All the other functions, as our computer geeks would put it, are optional but unexcessive. Capacitance measurement, transistor parameters measurement, temperature measurement are all out there. As a rule, multimeters operate off a 9 volt Krona battery. The battery lasts for a long time, but in some multimeter models, the device doesn't turn off. When the voltage decreases to below what is allowed, then the multimeter begins to lie. This could lead to certain inconveniences. Which is why we recommend that you replace the original battery with an alkaline one. The guaranteed storage period for it is about 6 to 7 years. By the way, when you buy your multimeter, don't forget to get a couple of crocodile clips. They're very easy to lose. And one more tip for radio amateur. Always set your device to the required measurement range before you perform the measurements. If the approximate value is not known ahead, the multimeter should be set to the maximum range.